Hello everybody. I know you all like seeing my Ram truck once in a while. Well today I'm going to put a tough guard bull guard on the front of this. And this is what it came in. A box like this. See? <laughs> I already took it out but I want to show you the box. It was pretty heavy. It's a tough bar. And I guess the uh, delivery guy must have drug it all the way up here because it's pretty heavy. Uh, when I took the guard out, this box of parts and screws and stuff fell out and fell right on my toe. It's heavy. I'm going to turn red right away. <laughs> Let me show you the guard quick. See? It's heavy. I'll open it. Look at this. Branch tubing. Stainless steel. Lifetime guarantee, they say. They say. See the truck before? See what it looks like? Yeah, you see it. I've seen it before. I might use these ramps. I know I can lay under there and get a lot of the bolts loose. But the first step, I'm supposed to remove the splash guard or balance. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to just see if I can cut the slots I need. The slots. You'll see as I go. But I think it's more of a pain to remove that. Although I bought special tools for it. Look at this. Oh. We're going to eat later, don't worry. Oh, I've got holes here. I'm going to see how it goes. I'm going to mount some lights on there. It'll be next week. Can you see it yet? Wow, see? That's heavy, boy. Like my new grill. <laughs> Do something like that. Boss it up. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be around there. I thought it'd be a little higher, but that's gonna be good. In case I run into any cows on the road, I'll push them out of the way. All right, let me see. I'm gonna drive up on these ramps. You might want to see that too. You like ramp stuff? Oh yeah, it came with instructions too. So I'm gonna read them. I've been reading them before it arrived online. All right, let's go up on these ramps. I hope it don't fall down. <laughs> Alright, we got some room now. That's the other side look, right? Yeah, I got some jack stands for safety I'll put under there. What if it falls down? It's still way high off of me, unless I'm up there twisted, you know. Alright, let me get started on this. Here's the stuff. I was supposed to remove this splash guard, you know, which I'm going to try not to do. Save everybody a step. But at the end, we got to cut slots in there for this part to come forward. If you can see that, I'll show you better. Just that little opening there. Just that little slot got to come through there. There's some parts. All right, let me remove two bottom bolts from the bumper. 
Screw that on. Screw that on there. Screw this on here. You'll see. I'll show you when I'm under there, right? I already sprayed some thread loosener on there a couple days ago. So here's behind your front bumper. Got two nuts there. They're 18 millimeter. You can get a deep socket. Bear with me. I'm hungry. I listened to it. Plus I sprayed it like I said I sprayed it. Take that off. And take that off. And I'll put the next bracket on there. Okay? That's just how I go that way. Quarter to the picture. That way. That way. Those two bolts I took off, the nuts I took off, is where this was going to go, the bottom of the bumper mount. And this goes on here. And this goes on here. To mount to a factory hole that's already in there. How convenient, right? Okay, let me assemble these with washers and lock washers. I'm going to follow the instructions. Let me think of that. All right, I pushed the bracket out, and I saw an indentation, and this is where I'm going to cut this. It's supposed to be like a half an inch by four inches, and I got a sharp utility knife. Make a couple slots at a time, a couple cuts at a time, not deep, and pretty soon we'll be through. And the uh, bracket's going to poke through, and that's the hardest part of this. It's going to be nice. Some people remove these and don't even put them back on. But why not? We want some extra splash protection up there, right? Might be easier on the left. Right, keep digging through there. Turn through. Come through on one side. That's easier on your back. Nice. If you have the angle grinder with it'll buzz right through there. I don't have the I have the grinder but I don't have the right blade right now. So it's just working. <laughs> if you find out you're too skinny or you're off one side, just trim a little bit to the other side. Nobody's ever gonna see this. Except me. I'm going to push this through back here. I have the mount hanging up here. Let me show you. We'll see. See where it is? Oh, look. <laughs> That's all. all I need. Now you get a good idea. Go up a little more there. And down a little more. And we'll be square. Okay. Show you what I'm doing up here. See, there's the where I took the bumper nuts off. Jennifer sort of pushed it through. See? And you see it the other side. All right. Well, it's all backwards. I got the wrong side on the wrong side. How <laughs> do you pay attention to what I'm doing? Stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Stuck. <laughs> Should use the shorter one for that, maybe, huh? Oh, 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 
think the water goes in. I want to pull the wrench back. Oh. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Now. Don't look at me. <laughs> Where's that knife? Oh, uh, right there. Here, with the bleed out, and I'm laying on it, right? Alright, I want to know. I don't know what I want to go up further here. Oh, it's easier on my back, wasn't it? But nice. Then the other side, I don't know exactly. Look at this. See that? Come right out. Oh, yeah. lip on the inside. If you had this off, you'll see a double double lip going around and it's right up to the lip. So don't give me none of that. <laughs> I'm gonna, all right, see? Nice, that's that. Now, we're gonna snug this up and show you how this goes to the factory hole that's up here waiting for it. Okay? <laughs> now this piece goes on to the side of this back here which I'll show you and this goes to a hole which is a different different bolt is fine threaded and different color. Let me show you where that goes. Here we are. There's the bracket. If you're following me. Look at this hole. That's ready to go see. See that hole? So take this bracket Sorry if you can't see this good. If the side's gonna go there, and it's gonna go there, and it's gonna be easy, alright? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't see anyway. Easy. The hardest part was cutting that splash guard. You know that. All right, I got both sides out. See, a little loose yet, and we want this go on the inside, and our slot is wide enough. And then, see the holes? We're gonna bolt one inside, one outside. I just held it up, to make sure it's gonna fit with my cuts. Okay. Then I'm gonna have help to hold this up, and then we're gonna put. Nut and a bolt, washers, lock washers, and we're done. We're going to level it up and make sure we like it and snug it up. All right, you see it's pretty well installed. I leveled it up and I'm tightening these because we can move it where you like it. And I lined it up with the grill how I like it. And make it real tight. Okay. I got one more to tighten right here. I know it's hard to see and it's dark up here, but I know you're interested. Well, I'm hungry. Next, we gotta put some lights in there. We got holes there. See a little rubber? Got holes to put nut and bolt all the way through. Nice LED lights in there. I'm gonna measure that up. Send for them tonight. <laughs> All right, I'll show you when I get off the ramp, sir. And I only had that many parts left over. <laughs> we don't need them extra parts. <laughs> that was in case I removed the splash guard and there was rivets, so I was supposed to bolt it back in with them. But I didn't have to do that, see? I saved an hour. This took an hour and 10 minutes. And I saved an hour by not removing the splash guard. Want to watch me come down off the ramps? Me too. Alright, now you're supposed to wax it up if you want. 
I like the little holes that are pre-drilled for lights already. That's going to be nice. Might not have been the best detailed installation, but at least I showed you how to put it in without removing the splash guard. Saved an hour or two. All right? So if that's all you want to see it for, there it is. I want to come down off the ramps. All right? Big difference. I'll put a picture of before and after there. Before, after. Cool, huh? All right. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you soon. I need.